This is Jim from Malachy Parts and Service. We're here on site to take care of our new partnership with Pasmo. So as of right now, it looks like we have one whole machine and a half a machine down. But the half a machine looks like we're missing a handle here. So we're, we're gonna have to address that, uh, maybe test the handle from one of the other machines to see if it uh, works. So you see how this is, looks nice and even? And this one, it's got like this bend in it. This one you can see it a little bit better. And that's definitely pulling the handle too hard. But again, that's the customer doing it because the customer is the one that has access to this. And you can't tell them not to. And what happens is these handles, when they pull them down, it's snapping off like the, the black uh, uh, car car gear is dropping back down and the handle stays down. So. You, you, you can see how this is all broken out around here. And then you look at this one, this is what it's supposed to look like. And uh, as you can see, our great technicians here are pulling apart this machine to... Uh... Uh, they're trying to remove the panels to get at the compressors and to see if there's anything damaged back in there because that unit did have a trip main breaker in the breaker panel and uh, the breakers inside the unit were also tripped off so just trying to do a little bit of investigation and see what may have caused that. Uh, well it's not running now but we had the suction pressure was down to 40 pounds uh, the tank was getting cold, uh, then the breaker blew. So this one, we're gonna, the internal breaker. Oh, it's the internal breaker blew? We're going to figure out why, if it's because of the dirty condenser or there's an, an issue with this compressor also. Uh, but the compressor, we believe the compressor on the left side is definitely bad. Uh, the one on the right, it's running, it, it's getting cold, and now it blew the breaker. So we're going to figure out what's going on. Uh, the left side compressor is grounded uh, after the internal overload closed. We believe it sent the back feed to the other uh, terminal, and that's what caused the, the, in, the, the circuit breaker to blow on the right side. We're hoping that's all that, that was, because we we're hoping the right side's working fine. Uh, we'll know in a couple minutes once we uh, put the wires back. Uh, but we disconnected the left side compressor now so that it doesn't get the ground feed back. trying to get the one side going, you know? I'd rather have one side. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, when you press it on, uh, and excuse me, but when you press on auto, is there a a, de a delay? Or well, you just... It usually takes like three minutes. So here we're, uh, we're going to be heading out of here from the customer here. Uh, Danny and Tommy are still working on the units. They found that there, there's at least one compressor bed. Uh, we're going to have to talk to the manufacturer about the handle issue uh, because it does look like the handles are being too, pulled too hard. But that's because the customer comes in and does their own ice cream with those handles. So we're going to have to talk to the manufacturer and see what we can do about that for the customer.